Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video for YouTube that shows how to use DING. DING, with the D, which stands for Deutsch, is a German-English dictionary. Not to be confused with Bing, with a B, which is a search engine for Windows. You can get DING from the Ubuntu Software Center. Once your software center is up, it goes to the internet and you can type in DING and it will look for it and as you can see from the green check mark I've already got it installed. You can if you want to get more information and it'll tell all about it. After it gets installed it does not appear in your applications. You have to run ding from a terminal and the way you run a terminal of course is to hold down to control alt T and then just type in ding and there it is. If you don't want to do that the other thing you can do is to go up into your system keyboard shortcuts and add ding to the custom shortcuts in fact, if you want to, you don't even have to go up like I did to System Preferences Keyboard Shortcuts. You can make a keyboard shortcut that brings up keyboard shortcuts, which I did. And here they are. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see what they are. You just, to get t keyboard shortcuts, you write in gnome-keybinding-properties and it'll pop up the keyboard shortcuts. And here, to do that, I put in Windows key with a K. And that brings up this very window right here. I'm going to do it now, Windows key K. Now I'm going to add ding. And that's easy enough. You just type in ding, D-I-N-G. And the command is D-I-N-G hit apply. Shows up at the bottom and I do not have yet a shortcut for it. Oh, now here's diary. I've already got Windows key D. So I can't bring up my diary. Let me try it. There's my diary. Oh, there's Pop's birthday. All you people missed it. Shame on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Windows key plus Alt plus D. I'll explain that. The Windows key and Alt are right next to each other. Perhaps I can show that to you a little bit by using a current layout diagram. When I hit Windows key and Alt, they both show up and then when I hit D, it pops up ding. There it is. I will close this now and open up ding. I've got it where it covers the top half of the screen, but that's a matter of personal preference. You can cover the whole screen or the left half or the right half. Um, I'll just leave it over here on the uh, left half of the screen. Now I'm going to bring up some German. Here is some text in German. It's in LibreOffice Writer. It's a kid's book. It's Hensien's Reise. And the way you use this program is really, really simple. You just highlight a word and it defines it. But you have to tell it first of all in your search behavior to search on text that you highlight. So let's get a simple word. And there it is, vielleicht. I'm going to enlarge the print so that you can see it more easily on this video. Preferences, general preferences, oh here it is, increase font size, control and plus. Well, you can't use the 10 key plus, you've got to use the plus that's on the regular keyboard. 
and the way you do that is control shift plus now I gotta say this program does not have pretty looking fonts they're kinda ugly I'm making them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so that you can see them more easily now let's highlight another word bottom of the sea now look how it cuts off here because I have the screens configured half a screen but it cuts off so for that reason I'll put this here and this here now you can see the whole works now here I'll read this sentence Hänschen saß etwas ängstlich oh I am afraid I do not know what ängstlich means I am a fearful I do not know what that word means so I will highlight it Shazam it means anxious Ze Stern Starfish son of a gun Gesellschaft well that's slicker than I'll poop naturally it doesn't have all the words you want you're reading something complex and it won't have any see there look at that it's in red da hergeschwommen you might have to find yourself breaking words up or something gut mütiges see you gotta break the, up those words gesicht trouble with all these dictionaries is they tell you the definition of the words you already know but sometimes not now, you don't have any German text? Okay, I'll show you how to get some. You go to the internet and you type in uh, Project Gutenberg. And Project Gutenberg has got free ebooks. Let's just type in. Mr. G. Hmm. I'm just going to go down and find something. Oh, here's a rouser. That'll wake you right up. Let's get it in plain text, okay? Aha. I think that's pretty good actually. I recommend the program. I mean it's free. It works. It's convenient. after you install it and after you put it in that's it I mean there's nothing else to do you just gotta get a hold of some German German text here it popped up incorrectly on the bottom when I had it on the top I don't know what's going on with that well my name is pop and I hope that this was of some use I have a whole bunch of other YouTube videos many of them are on the subject of Ubuntu and I thank you very very much